Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Home Bookkeeper YouTube channel. My name is Emma Dawn and here is where I share with you QuickBooks tutorials, demonstrations, financial tips, business advice, and more. You, what you're looking at now is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for demonstration purposes only. So any alterations we make into this company, it's not a real company, it's just for education. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a new employee using QuickBooks payroll services. So over on the left-hand side, you're gonna see the taskbar, click payroll, and you're gonna enter into what is the overview payroll screen. Go up to employee tab and hit add a new employee. Over here is where you're gonna be filling out all of your employees' information. I love a new feature they have down uh, below this box where it has a little new purple button along with a check mark. Uh, this is gonna send all of the documents that they need to fill out for tax purposes to their email where they are gonna be able to fill everything out legibly, which is the big thing, the no more handwriting anything. They're able to type in out all of their data and it's gonna be done securely. So that's a really nice feature. I love that they've updated in QuickBooks Payroll. Now, as you scroll down, you're gonna see how often do you wanna pay this employee? What is their starting date? Um, you can add in new forms if they get paid bi-monthly. You can also add in their hourly rate and then you're gonna set the default hours that's gonna start automatically calculating if they ever go into overtime. Now under there, you can also see you can add additional pay types, like their overtime pay, if you give them vacation days, sick days, things like that. Now if your employee has those benefits, then you can automatically go in there, take a look, add in what you need to add in, now the next box, box five, is where you would type in any of their health benefits, any of that. Box six is for direct deposit. Is this person getting direct deposit? They can also fill out that form through that little uh, checkbox where they're gonna get all of those forms emailed and they can fill it out themselves. So it's a lot less work for you as a business owner. Or if you're a bookkeeper listening to this video, then it's for you as a business, a bookkeeper. And box seven, you just fill in their start date and you are good to go. Just hit done and that's it. You have added your first employee. If you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel.